I can imagine a collective sigh of relief from casinos around the world if this video hadn't been released. Have you ever wondered how casinos manipulate human behavior? Heard the rumors about slot machines changing winning combinations? And what's the deal with card counting and blackjack? Yeah! That's how you do it, man! Brace yourselves, because in this episode, we're uncovering the truth behind five of the most persistent casino myths. Hello, I'm Polly, and welcome to another exciting episode of The All In Show. Today, we're going to break the glass ceiling and expose the hidden reality behind the five most common casino myths. But wait, I can't do it alone. I need your help too. Drop a comment below and share the casino myth that's always puzzled you. Your insider knowledge could fuel our next episode. So get ready to buckle up. It's time to separate the fact from the fiction. Let me start by addressing one of the most common myths out there. The idea that casinos rig their games to prevent players from winning. This myth has been around for ages, and I can understand why. It can also be another thing that makes some people hesitate to visit casinos. And here is the first thing you need to know, is that casinos do have a natural advantage over players, but do they have to cheat to turn a profit? There is such a thing called the house edge. This fancy term means the small, simple mathematical advantage that casinos have over their players. This advantage is the calculation based on the rules of any specific game and ensures that the casino will make money in the long run. Let's say for a typical roulette game, the house edge might be 2.7%, which means that for every $100 wagered, the casino keeps $2.70 in profit. Seems a fair deal if we talk about some really nice online and offline casinos that treat us with an immersive atmosphere and skillful customer service. And here's the thing, it's truly remarkable how often people hit these life-changing jackpots. $22 billion in three fucking hours! Sure, the odds of winning big money may seem slim, but they are never zero. So casinos operate under strict regulations and are protected by law to ensure absolute fairness. But here's where it gets even better. These days, crypto casinos take things to a whole new level. With every bet and win recorded on the blockchain, they have become the epitome of transparency and integrity in the gambling world. It's an impressive system that leaves no room for doubt or manipulation. If you'd like to explore the world of crypto gambling, I invite you to join our dynamic Telegram channel and Discord community. There you can learn more about crypto gambling and connect with like-minded enthusiasts. And moving on to the next one. I bet you've all heard the whispers about counting cards in blackjack. Well, here is a little secret that's been buzzing around. It's often believed to be illegal, but guess what? The truth might just surprise you. Yeah, I told you I'm unstoppable today. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Counting cards is actually a skill that some players have mastered or continuously practiced to increase their chances of hitting those big wins. By the way, did you catch our most recent video, Most Wanted, where we talk about cheaters and how they influenced casino security systems? If you haven't, don't worry. We've got the link waiting for you at the end of this episode, so stick around. Now let's talk about the true legend in the game, Edward Thorpe, a brilliant mathematician and professor who gained worldwide recognition for his book, Beat the Dealer. Yep, you guessed it. This gem of a book is all about the concept of card counting. As far as you can tell, using this technique allowed Mr. Thorpe to get rich very quickly in both ways, by successfully selling his book and by playing blackjack in his own style. And while casinos may not be too keen on card counting, they can't take legal actions against players who use this technique. So if you consider trying your hand at card counting during your next casino visit, here's a little tip. It's actually not illegal, but hold on before you start practicing your skills. There is a catch. Even though it's not against the law, casinos do have their own rules, and if they catch you counting cards, you might just find yourself politely escorted to the exit. So, tread carefully like Alan. Remember this one? All right, let's play some black jack. <laughs> oh, I love this movie. Do you ever feel like slot machines are just waiting to pay out and you can sense when that magical moment is about to happen? Well, you're not alone. 
Many people believe the myth that slot machines are programmed to pay out at certain times, whether it's after a certain amount of money has been deposited or after a certain number of spins. Magic. So, is it real? Let's find out. The first fact you need to know is that slot machines are not programmed to pay out at specific times. Every single spin, just like every single slot combination, is completely random. It happens because it works on a random number generator. And to confirm this, let's watch a part of the interview with gambling expert John Grashowski. The games are all run by random number generators today. They are as random as humans can program a computer to be. But past results do not influence future outcomes. If you're playing a system that depends on the past outcomes uh, to, to predict what you're going to have in the future, it doesn't work. So if you're feeling lucky and decide to try your hand at the slots, go ahead, give it a spin, and keep your fingers crossed for a big win. Or maybe you've already won an impressive amount of money. Don't be shy and share your story in the comments below this video. So what about me? Well, as you can see, I'm still trying to hit the jackpot, and hopefully one day you'll see me blogging about my exquisite jewelry and car collection instead of the show. Wait, what? Polly, they wasn't in the script. Oh, and you? You're not gonna drive my cars. And at this cheerful point, we move on to the next part. Oh, and of course, back to math. I suppose many of you have heard from your parents that learning math is extremely important and can play a huge role in your life. At least that's what my dad told me. But you know what? If he told me that later in life I'd be able to win millions by counting cards, that would probably work better for me than just saying that I'll be able to count my own taxes. So it seems that there is no chance left for people who are not professional card counters. Well, don't lose hope just yet. Some games are still easy to learn and do not require any special skills. This means that there is still a real chance for you to hit those sweet millions of dollars. For dessert, I'll leave you with the most interesting statement. Have you ever thought about how far some companies will go to keep their customers? Well, if you have, you have probably heard that some casinos pump oxygen into the air while people gamble. Why would they do that? The main idea of those who state this is that the casinos want to keep their players wide awake and make them gamble riskier. Am I the only one who thinks it sounds like something out of a science fiction movie? And what are your bats, guys? Is this one true? Answers Joe Rogan. Uh, I don't think they're pumping oxygen in there. I just think it's a okay, great man. room. Here now, it I'm sure you've heard the myth that oxygen is pumped into casinos to give people more energy and keep them awake. This is, in fact, the enduring Las Vegas myth of all time. There's no doubt that the casinos keep the air chilly to give that same effect, but there's no mechanism actually pumping extra oxygen into the system. Well, and now, now we know. So, yes, many casinos use a variety of tactics to create a stimulating and exciting atmosphere for their players. They play upbeat music, offer welcome drinks and snacks, use bright lights and flashing colors, and even employ attractive dealers or performers. But these elements are all designed to make us, the players, feel awesome socializing and gambling together. Sure, casinos want their players to stay and gamble as long as possible. In fact, most casinos have amazing ventilation, air conditioning, and humidifying systems that you won't find in the regular indoor environment. Casinos really care about their guests and workers, providing the best experience for everyone. And the next time you're in a casino and feel wide awake, don't give the oxygen credit. It's all due to the excitement of the game and the atmosphere of the casino floor. The world of casinos is so interesting and there is always something new and fascinating to discover. So don't miss out on any of the exciting content we have in store for you. And while it's true that people can win big at casinos, the reality is that the odds are always in the casino's favor. Gambling should be treated as a form of entertainment, not as a way to make money or solve problems. This is an amazing theater of luxury and fun, so enjoy it wisely. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, and if this video receives more than 50 likes, we'll bring you a second episode packed with even more thrilling myths to explore. Remember, always approach gambling with respect and responsibility. Until next time, bye-bye.